Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praises, thanks, and adorations to the Most High, Yahweh, who the world ignorantly called God, in the name of His Son, our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly called Jesus. I would like to send my double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for having taught me this truth and peace and salutations to the one Todd of the house of Israel, those who are sincerely seeking the truth and to the one and for the 4,000 elect. So this lesson, this lesson I'll be talking about putting your trust in the Most High Yahweh and not in man through these times we're about to face. So in the past, I made a video talking about the time of Jacob's trouble, in which we just got into this phase and it's going to get way worse than what we are seeing. Um, it's going to be a time like never before. It's going to be famine. As a matter of fact, let's quickly get the scripture from the book of Matthew 24. Oh, so we're going to read from, okay, so let's read from, let's read from verse 3. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be, and what shall be the sign of thy coming? and of the end of the world. And Yahweh Shai answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am the anointed, okay, and shall deceive many. The word Christ actually means the anointed, okay, and shall deceive many, just like we can see this day. There are lots of um, preachers out there, you know, claiming to be messengers of the most high you know but you need you need your eyes opened you know by the grace of the most high Yahweh in the name of his son our lord and savior Yahweh shai through the holy ghost the ruka kodash to see and discern that these men are not the true men of the most high okay so all over we have these pastors preaching about prosperity. You know, they're just a bunch of crackers. So let's go on. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars, which we're already seeing right now. Okay, there, there is war going on in different places of the earth right now, different parts of the world. We have wars going on. And we're also hearing about rumors of wars an example is um the ongoing um cyber beef more or less between the Chinese and the United States in which it's still going to lead to the third world war by the spirit of prophecy of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. So let me keep reading. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. Okay. So over here, we're told not to be troubled about these signs, okay? And the only people that are not going to be troubled about these signs are those who are sincerely seeking the truth. That's the one third of Israel that is going to be saved and 144,000 elect of the house of Israel. Other people out of this number are going to be troubled. So that's where I actually want to start pick this lesson from but you know just let me go a little more to show you more of the signs to come for nations shall rise against nations and kingdoms against kingdom and there shall be famine and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places all these are the beginning of sorrows okay then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you and ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. As a matter of fact, we men of the great millstone, starting from the apostle Taha all the way down, 
Um, this is the, the most hated group actually for the truth we bring out. And we have YouTube always, you know, censoring our, our works, our videos. I have to stay awake all night to load up videos. Though I don't even have lots of subscribers and I don't have lots of views, but I can already see what they do. At the beginning when I started loading up videos, um, I could just load them easily. But lately it takes forever to load a video, so I need to stay awake at midnight, you know, and get these videos, you know, loading and I sleep, then I wake up and I go check on it and see, you know, it takes lots of time to load up these videos. They're trying to pre um, prevent this truth to go around because the men of the Great Millstone, this is where you can find the 100% truth, okay? So we're already hearing of nations coming against na um, nations and kingdoms coming against kingdoms. And, you know, so there are lots of, um, you know, signs, you know, so there's going to be famine and pestilence. Okay, the coronavirus is a pestilence. We're already hearing of different earthquakes in diverse places. And famine, okay, starvation is coming very, very soon. And we can already see, we can already see the first wave already, okay? I'm talking about, you know, even in, in Europe, okay? So, well, I don't want to divert what the lesson should be. The lesson is, um, you know, um, we shouldn't trust a man in this time, you know? So many of the house of Israel are also going to give up, you know, these truths because they wouldn't be able to stand all this and, you know, start putting their trust in men. So let me just quickly read from the book of Psalm 118 and verse 8, which quotes, It is better to trust in the Lord Yahweh than to put confidence in a man. Okay. So most of our brethren out there, they put their confidence in men. For example, there is this um um this issue going on in Nigeria, you know, and you have lots of these Nigerians writing to the Americans to come and save them, you know, writing to President Trump. You know, we have many of these um, celebrities, you know, writing, sending messages and tweets or whatever to other celebrities in the United States to save them and to help them. Man, come on. Apart from the fact that you're calling on your oppressors to come and help you, the real devils, those are the people you're calling on to come and help you and you would never get help from them. And this is just the problem, you know, with our people, we we put so much trust in man rather than in the most high. So I'm really going to I'm going to make another lesson, you know, regarding who the wicked is, you know, the seed of the wicked, you know, so I can give you more proofs by the grace of the most high Yahweh in the name of his son, our Lord and Savior Yahweh Shai, to prove to you that the white man, the so called white man, okay, the Caucasians are actually the devils of the earth. So that's going to be another lesson. Okay, so if you put your trust in man, you know, you're a gunner. You're a gunner, you know. So like, you know, the book of um the book of Isaiah says, you know, knowledge, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy time. Wisdom and knowledge comes from the most high Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, not man. Okay. So I'm also going to read from the book of Psalms 146. And verse 3, right here, which says, which quotes, Put not your trust in princes, nor in the son of man, in whom there is no help. So this is also where many of our people fall. Um, these princes right here, you know, they represent those leading the countries, okay? So we are all looking for a better government, you know, hoping that if we vote in this person, things will get better. Come on, 
Apart from the fact that voting is a sin, I need to bring the point out. Okay, I think it's in the book of um, Deuteronomy where we're told not to, not to, not to bring in. Well, that's by the way. Um, we put our trust in this um, in this government, you know, democracy and all this crap, you know, to make things better. Forgetting. The most high. So you see our people are really they're really led like sheep to the slaughter, you know. They don't think for themselves. And just like the book of um, Isaiah says, I think in chapter three, verse one, that a donkey knows his master and has I'm just paraphrasing though. And the ass um um his master's creep, but Israel does not consider we don't consider because our trust is a man. Our trust is a man. We don't even know the names, the true names of our creator. As we're being told in the book of First Timothy chapter 2 verse 16, if I'm not mistaken, paraphrasing. But um, study to show thyself approved before God, Yahweh. A servant dividing the word of truth. Okay, we don't go out to seek the truth. We just believe what our leaders, they tell us. You know, we believe in their schooling system. We believe they are the ones to make life better for us. But come on, sons of Jacob, come on. Okay. So let me now read from the book of um, Jeremiah. Jeremiah 17 and verse 15, which quotes, Behold, they say unto me, Where is the word of the Lord? Let it come now. As for me, I have not hastened from being a pastor to follow thee, neither have I desired the woeful day. Thou knowest that which came out of my lips was right before thee um no i'm not reading the right verse this is not the verse i need sorry salakia for that salakia means sorry this is the verse i actually needed verse five which quotes thus said the lord cursed be the man that trusted a man okay and maketh flesh his arm and whose heart departed from the lord Yahweh. So you see, the Most High has also put a curse on those men that put their trust in men and make it flesh his arm, okay? So these are the people that trust in the government, men, you know, celebrities, whatsoever. They believe that man can, you know, take them to the promised land. And it's, there is no God. It's all about we, you know, we can solve problems for ourselves. Man, you're a cracker. You're a lost, you're a lost person, man. If you're in this state of mind, you seriously need deliverance, you know, pray, 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 and pray. Okay, if not, you know, <laughs> when, when hell start breaking loose, <laughs> you really going to get a huge portion of its destruction so we don't need to have well we don't have to put our trust in men so i'm just showing you different verses you know i can keep going there are lots of you know books that speak about we not putting our trust in men putting not putting our trust in the system so here I'm just going to share one more thing with you, which those who are go ruling the world right now, the banking families, the finance and, you know, the kings and queens of the world right now, who are the sons of Esau. Okay, I have to do another video on this. You have about shame, you have a shy willing. I'll put it out at probably the next ones I'll do. These people ruling the world right now, you know, they have huge plans for us and one of their major plan is to get everyone microchipped 
and the microchip is the literal mark of the beast that's written in the book of Revelation, is it 22? So, okay, I, I might be mistaken, but you know, when you come across the mark of the beast in the book of Revelation, it's actually talking about the microchip, okay? People think this thing is not going to come to pass, but I can tell you they're already using it in different parts of the world already. And just soon, sooner or not, before you know it, it's right there in your front, okay? So this is what they are actually putting in place. So when people start starving out, when they start losing their jobs due to this pandemic that they put out the coronavirus to just, you know, destroy all these um, smaller businesses and, you know, put more farm mining into the land. When people start can't get enough of all this, you know, they'll just put their trust in the government and just go directly and take the mark of the beast, you know. So this is actually what's going to happen. And people are not prepared because they they don't trust the most high. They don't even know the most high. You know, the scriptures say narrow is the way that leads to life and broad is that I'm just paraphrasing. Broad is that that leads to death and destruction, and many are dead that would that would find that would go through that way. So let me just quickly read from the book of Psalms, chapter forty, in verse four, which quotes, "Blessed is that man that maketh the Lord how I trust, and respected not the proud, nor such as turn aside to lies." So the proud, who are the proud? Um, those are those who are ruling us, you know, telling us lies, you know, telling us all different made up stories and lies. So you see the majority actually put their trust in men, but over here, blessed is the man that maketh the Lord his trust. So we by the grace of the most high you help our shame you how shy we the men of great millstone. We don't trust in the system. We don't trust in the government. We don't trust any man. We don't trust in the rich. We trust in the Most High Yahweh and His Son, our Lord and Savior Yahweh Shai. We are waiting upon His kingdom and that's where our hope is. So I'll just read two more, two more books and close up on this lesson. So let me quickly get from the book of Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 31. Okay, I'll just read from the first verse, which quotes, Woe to them that go down to Babylon, to Egypt for help, and stay on horses, and trust in chariots, because they are many, and in horsemen, because they are very strong. But they look, but they look not unto the Holy One of Israel, Yasharala, neither seek the Lord Yahweh, so is a, this is going to, you know, all these um celebrities, you know, the rich of the society. And when it's saying Egypt, you know, it's talking about um it's talking about bondage, you know, the land of America actually. It's the new Egypt it's talking about, you know. So most of our celebrities, you know, they get deals and, you know, endorsement and these signed contracts and it's all mostly from the united states their aim is to get into the grammys and you know that's another lesson actually so the trust in their cars which are the horses you know their chariots they trust in their gadgets and all these things they trust in the military they trust in in democracy and all this madness you know but they don't look upon the only one of Yasharala, the only one of Israel. And they're all going to be destroyed. They're all going to be cut off, you know. So to just close up this lesson, I'll read from the book of Proverbs. Chapter 3 and verse 5. Which quotes, it quotes, Trust in the Lord you have with all thy heart. 
and lean not unto thine own understanding. So this is actually what we 